Alright, so um, today I am going to be talking about a game called Minecraft. How to download it, how to start, how to survive, basic tips, you know, basic stuff. Um, how to get it for free. Uh, go to the link in the description. Uh, it should bring up a media fire page, Minecraft 1.0, alpha.zip. Um, download it, I already have it downloaded. Once it's downloaded, extract. Actually, no, wait. You can extract if you want to. They're .zip, so it doesn't matter. Um, I have it on my desktop, so what you want to do is open it. And then it should have a .minecraft file. Right click and press copy. And then uh, go to your start menu and press run. And then it should have this little run menu come up. Then type in the little uh, it'll be in the I'll have a text tutorial inside uh, inside the description so you guys can see what it says um, this little uh, symbol I don't know what it is it is the number five on the keyboard uh, and then it says app data then the symbol again and then run it and then it brings up application data or data and then uh, what you want to do is right click and then press paste or control V and then if it asks you to replace it say yes um, and then go back to the file right click run press edit then uh, a notepad file comes up or whatever you are using and it says I forgot what it said but it has like parentheses and then it says something in slash minecraft jar. What you want to do is you want to go back to the file. Then in the path on the top of the uh, window, it says like uh, C drive, my documents, and settings, computer administrator, whatever your account is. Right. Cl uh, hold on. Okay. What you want to do is right click all of it and copy. Then go back to the run file and then inside the parentheses go all the way to slash minecraft.jar leave the slash then paste it and then if it looks like this except with your path um, it should work then say, uh, exit and save uh, then either run the executable jar file or the batch file I'm gonna run the executable jar um, and then it should have a pass name, password, and scruffy puppy. And don't change it. Press login. Then it says login failed. This is because it is um, a hacked free version. So and it's an older version, so it shouldn't connect to the website. Play offline. Loading. Okay, single player. New world. Um, yeah, it's taken a while. Okay, it is generating. I think we started off in a pretty good area. As you can see, it is randomly generating. Um, Minecraft randomly generates a world just for you to play in. Nobody will have the same world. Um, so the basic t like point of this game is to survive. That's the only objective that you have. Um, these graphics suck, as you can see, but is the most addicting game you will ever play. So, your first objective is to make a house. Um, to do this, you want to find a tree, hold down left click, and get around 10, 
10 nogs or so. logs what you want to do is you want to press i on your keyboard then drag just click and then put them all in there all of your wood that you've gathered and mass click the wood planks this is your crafting square it basically decides what you're gonna make and then hmm right click each square once and then a crafting bench should pop up. Put that in your hotbar, and then make about five sticks, which is one on top and one on bottom. And then mass click. Okay. And then now our objective is to find coal. then right click it um, uh, right click in the middle two sticks then right click three planks on the top which makes a wooden pickaxe what you want to do is you want to kind of draw the object that you're making okay so then press one to equip it if you haven't okay I'm gonna unequip it cuz you don't need a pickaxe for your start digging into it. If you were to use your hands to do this, you want to get anything out of it. And rocks are fairly useful when you first start. WASD keys and the space bar if you didn't know. Okay. Pickaxe. And if you guys don't find this video very interesting, please look at X's adventure videos or his tutorial. They're really good. That's how I learned how to play. Frame rate. The 
the world randomly generates while you're playing. So at night, if you didn't know, monsters come out, like skeletons and zombies, and if you can't survive at, in a shelter, um, yeah, well basically this will tell you how to make a good shelter, not die. I died a lot when I first started. We're gonna get all this. This is actually a pretty big thing. This is just so we can see at night. And then we're gonna place some more rocks. Right there, so nothing can get in. And while it is night, we're you can um either yeah. You know, what, this is what I do. I At night, I just sit there and I just mine into the mountain, get more stuff. And then during the day, I just go out and collect trees. Or wood, whatever you want to call it. What we're doing right now is we're expanding our little room. And one thing you need to know about the monsters is that... Um, uh, there are like four or five kinds of monsters. There are bats that fly. Um, there are spiders that jump and can get through narrow spots unlike skeletons and zombies. Zombies... <sighs> basically zombies, what they do is they are just really pretty fast. Yeah, they're just fast. And, um... Skeletons, they shoot arrows, so that's why you need to close off anywhere and make this little spot so they can't shoot through the doorway. Um, what else? Creepers, creepers, they're green blobs and they blow up, but they only blow up when you're one space away from them. So, yeah, don't get close to them. And when they're about to explode, they make a little sizzling noise. And, yeah, just watch out for that. Uh, okay. See, it's nighttime. There's the moon. Once it goes all the way around, the sun should be coming up from this side. And then it will rise until it hits the other side. And then night will fall. And you just keep doing this, surviving, and you can make more things, like, um, here I'll make a bank, I call it a bank, it's, um, a chest where you can store your items. Here, I'm gonna place it up here. Okay, right there. And then when you right click, it gives you more inventory space where you can hold your items, in case, because if you die, you lose everything, but it stays there, so you can run back. But this is why you have to stay close to your spawn area. Like, if I died right now, I wouldn't even know where I was, because I didn't stay close to my spawn area. Luckily, if you get lucky, you can stay there and survive. Um, so I guess that's it for this tutorial. I will be making a, a series just like X did, because, you know, this game's really fun. I highly suggest you guys give it a chance and try it out. So I hope to get some good feedback from this video and see you guys later.